This man's imitation of a world-famous painting could not be identified by experts, but he is so poor he can't even afford to buy paint. His friend said that with his skills he could have painted a banknote. When the man heard this, he thought, why not just paint money? So he did. The first step in making banknotes is to design them, because Indian banknotes have tiny letters on them. Even the most advanced scanners can't do that because they produce morse. So the letters have to be drawn by hand. And that was a piece of cake for Matt. After three days of careful work Matt finished drawing the front and back of the note. The backing was then put together and the printing plate was completed. The second step is printing. The hard part was the die. Matt didn't have to worry about this because his best mate, Curly, owned a printing shop. First the backing was photocopied then the details were manually repaired then worn and finally a protective coating was applied. After a certain amount of time in the oven, the job is done. The third step is to start printing. The Curly's press is old and can only print one color at a time so they have to go back and forth four times. It's a bit of a hassle but the two of them are motivated to watch the banknotes take shape. After the cutting machine, a large $500 bill appeared in front of them. The fourth and most important step is the anti-counterfeiting process. But who would have thought that a $10 strip of sequins could be turned into a $500 bill after being cut to size? And so their counterfeit banknotes were finally produced. However, Matt suddenly frowned at the beautiful counterfeit bill. He filled his cup with tea and then squeezed the note and threw it in. That's right. The only downside to their notes was that they were too new. So they crumpled them up in batches, soaked them in water and then dried them. The perfect banknotes were finally all over the wall. They grabbed one at random to try it out. Curly squeezed into the crowd and took the $500 bill to the owner and asked for a can of soda. The boss touched the note carefully.